This is Jack. Jack lives with his mother in an old farmhouse where they scrimp by eating what few things they grow in their garden, and they sell the milk from their old cow. But one year the harvest was bad, and Jack and his mother had even less food than usual. Day after day, Jack went to bed hungry. One day, Jack's mother said to him, Jack, we can't go on like this any longer. You must take the cow to the market and sell her. She won't fetch much, but hopefully it will be enough to get us through the winter. And remember, don't sell her for less than ten coins. On market day, Jack set out with his old cow. Now, Jack was very handsome, but he wasn't always very bright. So when he was approached by a stranger on his way to the market, Jack was all too eager to hear what he had to say. Selling your cow, are you? How much? asked the stranger. Ten coins, said Jack proudly. Only ten. I think you can do better than that. In fact, I'm willing to take that cow off your hands for these magic beans. Jack, magic is better than coins. Mister, you have yourself a deal. And with that, he handed over his cow and took the beans. And he ran home to show his mother what a good deal he had made. Jack's mother wasn't pleased when she saw Jack had come back without the coins and with only a few beans. But they're magic, said Jack. Magic. They're not magic, they're just beans. She threw the beans out. That night, as Jack lay tossing and turning in his bed, something wondrous was happening outside. And when Jack awoke and looked out at him, what did he see but a beanstalk? And not just any beanstalk. It was the biggest beanstalk Jack had ever seen. It went up and up and up until it disappeared into the clouds. Quickly, Jack decided to climb up the beanstalk. He climbed up and up and up. And finally, breaking through the clouds, he reached the top and saw an enormous castle. Jack went up to the castle door. It was the largest door he had ever seen. He knocked on it opened by the largest woman Jack had ever seen. She was a giantess, but she was kind. She invited Jack in and offered him some bread and milk. And she took him into the kitchen. There, Jack saw the largest table and chair he had ever seen. And on the very top, for his bread and milk. So Jack began the climb. He climbed up and up the chair. At the top, Jack was fed bread and milk, and he ate, ate, drank, and drank to his heart's delight. Until he heard footsteps. Fee-fi-fo-fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack looked for a place to hide, and he spotted the bread box. He tucked himself away. But, being the curious lad he is, he poked his head out to see what was up. 
Oh, don't be silly, the giantess said to her husband. There is no one here. Now go on, eat up, eat up. And as Jack peered from the bread box, he saw the giant take out a sack of money filled with coins, and he started counting them. But soon, he fell. Jack crept from the bread box, grabbed the bag of coins, and he raced to the beanstalk and climbed down, 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 until he was safe at home. There, he handed his mother the bag of coins and told her all about his adventures. But soon Jack was itching for more adventure. Once again, Jack went up the beanstalk, met the giantess at the door, climbed up the chair, ate the bread, and then, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. <laughs> This time, as Jack watched from the red box, he saw the giant take his head. Lay, he commanded her, and plop, she laid a golden egg. Well, once again, the giant fell asleep. And when the, his snores filled Jack's ears, he crept up to the table, grabbed the head, and made his way back to the beanstalk. Down, down, down he went, until he was safe at home, where he told his mother all about his adventures and handed her the head that made his golden egg. Well, things were all right for a while, but once again, Jack itched for adventure. So back up the beanstalk he went once again. He met the giantess at the door, he had his fill of bread and milk and fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, don't be silly. There is no one here. Now go eat your lunch. Well, after lunch, the giant took out a golden harp, which was clearly enchanted as it sang as he played. Jack was awestruck. And when the giant fell asleep, Jack crept up and took the But this time the harp woke up and yelled, Help! I'm being kidnapped! The giant raced after Jack. Down, down, down the beanstalk they went. The giant slowly gaining on Jack. But when Jack reached the bottom, he grabbed a hatchet and chop, 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 chopped the beanstalk down. Down fell the beanstalk, and down fell the giant. And people said, he lays there to this day. Well, Jack brought his mother the golden harp, and he told her all about his adventures. And he and his mother lived happily ever after. The end.